Hi scholars! Today we have another math lesson. Now today we're going to be learning something new about measurement and data. Specifically we're going to learn about bar graphs and tally marks. Now first we'll go over our learning goals. Next I'll show you a video on Great Pop about bar graphs and tally marks. And then third I will model for you what I want you to do at home for your learning today. Okay, so let's start with our learning goals. Now for today, our learning goals are, I will classify objects into given categories. I will count the number of objects in each category. And I will use tally marks and or bar graphs to sort the categories by count. Okay, so now that we know our learning goals for today, we're gonna do what's next in our learning agenda. And I'm gonna show you that movie on Brain Pop that tells us all about bar graphs and tally marks. Okay. <laughs> Where should we go on our next class trip? The zoo, the firehouse, or the apple orchard? I'm taking a survey and making a tally chart. What are surveys and tally charts? A survey is a list of questions used to collect information or opinions. Let's see. There are three dinosaurs here. Well, let's take a survey to find out which one our classmates like best. We can use a tally chart to record data or information. Let's see, Moby likes the Stegosaurus the best. You can draw one tally mark to stand for one vote. Five kids like the Triceratops. So I'll draw five tally marks in that row. One, two, three, four. The fifth mark is drawn across the other four. Well, when you group the tally marks by fives, you can count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 20. Sets of fives are easier to count. Hmm. Seven kids like the T-Rex. So after I draw five tally marks, I can add two more to make seven. Oh right, I forgot to vote. My favorite dinosaur is the Triceratops. I'll add a tally mark to that row. It's really easy to add to tally charts. Now I can count the votes and use the tally chart to make a bar graph. What is a bar graph? A bar graph is a way to organize and show data. You can write the categories on the bottom. The three dinosaurs are the categories. Then you can write the numbers on the side. The numbers in our bar graph show how many people voted for each dinosaur. Let's see, one student liked the Stegosaurus the best, so I fill in one square. Six people voted for the Triceratops, so I color in six squares. Seven people said the T-Rex was their favorite dinosaur. You can also put the categories on the left and the numbers on the bottom. You can display the same information in a different way so you can understand it better. How can you use bar graphs to understand information? Bar graphs help you answer questions. Which dinosaur did people in our class like the best? Right, the T-Rex is the most popular. Which dinosaur did people like the least? Hmm, the Stegosaurus got five fewer votes than the Triceratops. 
You can even use the bar graph to figure out the total number of students who voted. Just add the votes from each category. 14 kids voted in all. I'm almost done with the survey on where to go for our next class trip. So far, the zoo is the most popular. It has 16 votes. But I don't have your vote yet, Moby. Where do you want to go? The moon? I don't think the bus will get us there. Now that was the end of our movie on Brain Pop. So now that you understand about bar graphs and tally marks, today I'm going to show you how we're going to input information, put it into categories, and then count that information to determine which has more or which has less, or which one's a favorite or which one's the least favorite. Okay, so your homework for today is to grab some toys that you have in your house, anything that you play with. Now, I went around and grabbed different toys that Arebi has here in our house. They could be small, big, whatever you like, anything that you like to play with. Now, we are going to be charting how many colors we have of each toy. So, we're going to write down the color of our toys. Oh, this marker does not work. We'll try again. Oh, this is the wrong one. Oh, silly, Miss Aki, The colors of my toy. So we're going to be making a bar graph to see what colors, which toys have the most, or which color we have, how many toys we have of one color and another color and another color. And we're going to see which one might be her favorite color based on those toys. So that would be a good question to answer. Which color comes up most often. Comes up most. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to draw it. And then you'll have a chance at home to go and collect a lot of different toys in your house and do the same thing. So you'll make a bar graph and a tally mark showing us the information from your toys. Okay? So I have a little box with a lot of other these toys that I collected in here. Now she has some yellow toys, orange toys red toys, and green toys. So, on your piece of paper, you can write down bar graph, tally marks. So for our bar graph, I'm going to make lines that are up and down lines. So just straight down like a lowercase l. Okay, like that. Now I'm going to make a straight line across the bottom. Now I know she, we said she had red. So I write the word red. If you don't know how to write the word red, just put a red circle. And that way you remember that you're going to chart how many red toys in this column. Okay, next I said she has some yellow toys, yellow 
below. If you don't know how to write yellow, you can put a yellow dot. Or you can use your sounds. She has some green toys. And orange. Oh, so see, that means I need another column. Now I can write orange. So we're going to see how many red toys. I collected, how many yellow toys I collected, how many green toys I collected, and how many orange toys I collected. Now we're going to see which color has more and which color has the least amount. So before we color it in, we need to make a graph going up like we saw in the movie so that we know how many. So we'll put one, two, three, four, five. Now if you collect a lot of toys, then you can make your graphs taller with maybe up to number 10. I didn't collect that many, but I'm sure she has a lot more than what I collected in this box. Okay, so I'm ready to make my bar graph. But before I start coloring in, I also want to get the tally marks ready as well. So for the tally marks, we're also going to do a straight line down this time I'll do a straight line across. That will be for a category. Red, yellow, green, and orange. will look a little bit different than our bar graph. Okay, I think we're ready. So, I'm going to pull out a toy from my box that I collected, and then we're going to see what color it is. We're going to put the information in our bar graphs and our tally mark graph. Okay, so here we go. First toy, what color is that? Orange. So I'll color one square in the orange bar graph. And I will put one tally mark in the orange column. Okay, let's take out another one. Oh, I won't look. What color is that? Green. Great. So now I'm going to shade in a green square. There's one green toy. And I'm going to do a tally mark on the green section. Great. Okay, take out another toy. Red. So let me shade in a red square and put one tally mark on the red. So far, they're all equal, right? Okay, let's keep pulling more. Orange. Oh, so here's another orange. 
color orange and put one tally mark on the orange. Okay, let's keep taking more out. Yellow, okay, so that's our first yellow. Color it, put a tally mark. So this is how we're collecting a lot of information and putting it somewhere where it's easy to access and you can see and compare. Okay, here's another toy. It's like a little ladybug toy. Green. I'll call it a green square. Put a tally mark on the green. Ooh. Here's a little chair she uses. She likes to play with Bingo and Rolly, so they sit on this little yellow chair and they bounce. So let's put a yellow square on the bar grass and a tally mark on the yellow. Mm. Now, looking at this information so far, which one has the least? What color comes up the least amount of times? Red, because I see we've only pulled out one red, but we still have more, so let's keep pulling some out. What's that? Another red. Now, I think uses this for her phonics for learning sounds, just like this one. So we'll do a red on the tally mark and a red on the bottom. Oh, now they're all equal again. Oh, let's keep pulling more. Oh, that's another little ladybug. We use those to count. Yellow. Yellow. Do another one. It's a yellow block. She has blocks that she likes to build with. So let's put another yellow and a yellow oh hmm. we have just one more toy left in here that I collected and this is a red butterfly we use these to count so let me color in one more red square on the bar graph and our last tally mark. So, now that we're looking at the bar graph where we charted the colors of our toys, well, at every story, and we're looking at the tally marks with the colors of the toys, which color came up the most? Yellow. How many yellow toys were in the box that I collected? One, two, three, four. And this information is the same in the tally marks. One, two, three, four. Very good. Now, which color of toy came up the least amount of time? Hmm. Take a look at that. Oh, there's two colors that came up the least amount of times. What two colors? Green and orange. How many green toys were in the box? One, two. One, two. How many orange toys were in the box? One, two. One, two. Great, so now we can write down that information. So I know three, there were three red toys. There were one, two, three, see, four, four yellow toys. There were two green toys and two orange toys. And we know that 
four is the biggest number. So I know that I had the most yellow in the toys that I collected. And we can do that same information with the tally marks. One, two, three red toys. One, two, three, four yellow toys. One, two green toys. One, two, two orange toys. So I can see that also there was the most amount was yellow toys. Great. So let's go over our learning goals again for today. Make sure we covered them all. Did we classify objects into categories? We did. We put them in color categories. We can also put them in sizes categories, right? Today we used colors. Did we count each number of objects in the categories? Yes, we did, and we wrote that information in our graphs. And did we use tally marks and bar graphs to sort and count the categories? We did. We counted how many, we drew a bar graph, we did our tally marks, so now we know the colors of my toys that I collected. So now it's your turn at home. Go get a little bag or a little box, collect a lot of toys that you see around your house. And I want you to record how many were red or how many were gray, blue, how many were purple, how many were green. And then when you're finished, make sure you take a picture or share a video with me of everything that you collected and your graphs where you're going to show me that information. Bye!